these things. And one of the last things that you need to discuss is health issues. You know, obviously, <laughs> you're not going to get mar married if you say that I've got AIDS, and you shouldn't be getting married if you've got AIDS. But you know, if you've got some kind of, you tell them. But if the if the wife becomes ill after the marriage, or if the husband becomes after the wife becomes ill after the marriage, that's another thing. You're in love. You can you can you can do that for your husband. But this is what this is somebody else. Um, would you really want to do that if you if you really want to take somebody else's illness then maybe you, you know you've got a very big heart chances are that people don't um, um, I know that this sounds very insensitive but that's the reality I'm, I'm putting everything down on the but if it's not something really really major um, you have to be transparent about it if it's something major then maybe you should think of not getting married or find something else or a solution so it's like AIDS then you know um, things like that well, I mean, these are some kind of pointers. Does that answer your question, brother? Who was asking, what do we need to discuss? Yeah, does that answer your question? Okay. Then we go into the consolidation stage. Can, can, you, can you see this picture? I think this picture speaks uh, libraries. Yeah? yeah? This picture speaks libraries. Consolidation stage is the kind of stage where you kind of decide when the date of, um, when, when the date's going to be, and when what how much you should give okay so one of the things that we need to give is we need to give mahar uh, mahar is a bridal gift the closest um, thing that we can we find is, is a bridal gift mahar is a bridal gift given by the husband to the wife as a gift which has been made fard upon the husband on, uh, to give to his wife by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it's a beautiful concept and some people they think that you know we've given the mahar we're buying our wife, wives Astaghfirullah, that's wrong. Mahar is a beautiful concept where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes a fard upon the husband to give. So it's a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the wives. You know? So it's, it's a beautiful concept. And it must be something of value. And it can't be less than, you know, around, circa means around, around 25 pounds, um, 10 dirhams. This is the kind of, um, I mean, the price of gold um, on, on when business closed on Friday was about 70, 74, sorry, not price of gold. All of this mahar is decided on the price of silver. The price of silver was about 74p per gram. Okay, so this is very, very up-to-date information. The next price of gold is going to open. So price of silver, we're going to find a new one, is on Monday. Saturday, Sunday, there's no business. Okay, so 74p at the time of uh, closure of, uh, of business. So it must be of something value, not to be less than circa 25. So it, because... Um, uh, uh, La mahra aqalla min asharati darayim. It comes in the hadith that the, the mahar can be less than 10 dirhams, which comes to about 25. Um, there are different forms of mahar that somebody can give. Okay, The most sunnah form of mahar, and, and I would stress this, the sunnah form of mahar is the mahar mithl. Some people think that the mahar Fatimi, the amount of mahar that Sayyidina Ali gave to Sayyidina Fatima, is the sunnah mahar is not. If you look at any of the fit books, you will not get a discussion of Mahar Fatimi. You will get a discussion of Mahar Mithil. Okay, you'll get the discussion of Mahar Mithil. And Mahar Mithil is the equivalent Mahar of the women of the bride's household. So for example, take my wife, her, her cousin sisters, and the women of her household, their Mahar is kind of 5,000 pounds, you know, circa, give or uh, take, you know, around that 5,000, 4,000, 6,000, that's the kind of Mahar that the women of their family have been given for a long time since the, you know, my wife is kind of in the, in the middle amongst her cousins. So, so that will be the, the sunnah mahar that you give. If there isn't anything um, which you don't have a concept of mahar misal, then you kind of make something which according to your situation, um, you know, which you can. You know, the, the thing is that in the hadith, the Prophet ﷺ says that the, the less um, standardship there is in the in a marriage, that's more baraka. But we take these, these baraka, and we take these concept as mahar fatimi, as caveats or as uh, screens to not give women. You know, so we we we, we have this kind of a religiosity, a holy streak. There's actually these holy streaks are just smoke screens where we don't want to give money a lot of uh, women a lot of. A mahar, and we say that oh, well, Mahar Fatimi was two hundred fifty pounds, you know. So we're going to do it right because we're religious, and uh, and the actual thing is not really religiosity. It's basically trying to trying to get out of this whole mahar kind of thing. 
we shouldn't we shouldn't be um, you know the mahar shouldn't be so uh, silly like in Bangladesh what they do is they give the mahar something like you know five lakh takas or something like that you know five fifty thousand pounds and the only reason why they do that is they they show it uh, to the people that the mahar was fifty so it can be announced it was fifty thousand pounds but come the wedding night they forced the wife to forgive that because oh, that, that guy doesn't even have 50 takas, forget 50,000 takas, but it's just kind of uh, a sweet, uh, um, a kind of name in society. So that's wrong, okay? Mahar should be something which you give reasonable. When you're getting married to a woman, are you gonna marry her for 25 pounds? No, you, you, you get married, you give the woman a good gift because she's gonna be your wife and don't go around down the religiosity line like you know we have to do the Mahdi Fatimi uh, because the Mahdi Fatimi was you know kind of uh, the, 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 the Hazrat Fatima like, the Sunnah is Mahdi Mithil if there isn't Mahdi Mithil then you can go for Mahdi Fatimi if you want Mahdi Fatimi is 400 dirhams okay some people you know Mahdi Fatimi they say you know 200 101 pounds or 205 pounds or 250 pounds uh, Mahdi uh, Fatimi Naqad Aoud me right Mahdi Fatimi is not, even the calculation is wrong. If you take 400 dirhams, that comes to 1,224 grams. According to Friday's price of gold, it comes to about 900 pounds. So if you are, are going to give Mahdi Fatimi, then give it properly. You know, don't give 250 pounds and trying to, trying to uh, take yourself out uh, of the whole, whole thing. Um, if you're going to look at the other uh, daughters of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who received their mahars, mahar banat rasul, the other daughters other than the Fatima, then their mahars were 480 dirham, dirhams. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala records in a hadith of Sahih Muslim that uh, the, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa own marriage and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa daughter's mahar was 480 dirhams. Okay, so that comes to something like just over a thousand pounds. So you've got that precedent. Then you've got the mahar of Rasul. The, the mahar that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to normally give to his wife in the book of Sahih Muslim and in Sahih Bukhari, he says, Isnataya Ashara Uqiya wa Nash. Isnataya Ashara Uqiya wa Nash. And one Uqiya is 40 dirhams, and Nash is 20 dirhams. So the Prophet actually gave 500 dirhams to his wife, which comes to 1530 grams, which is about you know, 1,100 pounds. <coughs> around 1,100. So you've got that precedent. And if you want to really, really go for the big fish, then the mahar that the Prophet ﷺ gave to Ummah Habiba was 4,000 dirhams, which comes to about 9,000 pounds. I don't think any of us can afford it. Um, but you don't need to follow any of those. It's what you come to an uh, agreement, not you and the wife, but normally in our society, it's basically the, um, the parents, they kind of deal with it and the children don't, don't really have uh, a say in it. Um, maybe we should be more transparent and open with our parents as well. And at the end of the day, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the sisters, it's the wife's gift. So maybe she should also have a, have a say in it. And, <coughs> and we should, one thing that we shouldn't do is we shouldn't, we, we sh shouldn't deny the sisters their mahar. Allah subhanahu wa says, فَإِن تِبْنَ لَكُمْ عَنْ فَكُلُوهُ حَنِيًا مَرِيًّا that Allah SWT says that if they give you out, if they forgive you out of your own pleasure, and a lot of the time women do that, you know, when they're married, especially they're in their honeymoon stage, what they will do is they will forgive their husbands. And they say, no, you don't need to give me, you know, you've given me everything and I love you, I love you till, you know, death do us apart. Um, I don't want any money, whatever you, yourself is enough, subhanAllah. You know, so they come out with all these lyrics, okay, which melts your heart. So it's, it's things that you need to kind of um, sort out yourself. And, 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 and work, but it's something which is not to be given very cheaply. And in, especially in Hanifi Fiqh, you, you, you have your whole lifetime. You have your whole lifetime to give the mahar. You don't need to give it straightforward, which brings us to our next kind of. Is there any questions? When does the mahar become necessary and how much? No question. No. Um, the mahar, what kind of is, is that to be like money and gold? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, uh, it will we'll go back again. So we've got, in, in the notes, consolidation uh, stage, we've got bridal gift, we've got mahar mithil, we've got mahar fatimi, we've got mahar uh, rasul, then we've got something which is called khabin. We, we say in Bengali khabin, it's a piece of land or, uh, I, I mean, I really tried finding what the reality of this khabin is and everybody gives me different versions. So I think I guess it's some kind of um, land registry in, in Bangladesh 
where they give you land on top of money 